In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Axis Extension feature in the Rotate tool to accurately and precisely snap your object's rotations. The problem I'm having here with this diamond model is that I want to finish modeling it with symmetry. But right now, uh, it's not lined up correctly. The rotation of the geometry is off from the uh, axis orientation. Uh, so, you know, I could go in with the Rotate tool and I could click and drag and try and rotate it and you know I, that's, that's without snapping. I can turn on snapping. Um, here you can see my settings, vertex, edge, polygon, intersection, work plane. Um, I can go in here, mouse over that axis, but it's all based on where my, the snapping is all based on where I actually uh, press down uh, with my mouse button and it's just not that accurate. So what we need to take advantage of here is the axis extension feature. So how do we do this? Well, we are going to just hold Control or Command, mouse over the axis which we want to rotate along, and then simply uh, right click, a single right click, and now we have this guide and also release the command or control. And now we have this guide colored uh, on the axis which we've moused over, and it is snapping. So I can snap to this corner point and now I can, and I'm just hovering over and I just mouse over that point and click and drag and now you can see this is snapping to the grid line or points. So I can just go right here and release my mouse button and now I have a uh, perfect symmetry set up to continue uh, modeling the facets of this diamond model. So we can also do this with parametric objects uh, in our 3D view onto polygons. So let's check this out. So I have, uh, let's go over here. So I have this polygon. I want to line up this hemisphere so that it's laying flat along this surface. So there are you know plenty of ways to do this, but let's check it out using the axis extension feature. So. I'm going to go to the sphere and uh, let's take a look at my snapping settings, vertex, edge, polygon. But I have a midpoint set up. We'll turn off work plane. Um, so I want to snap, I want to move the sphere to uh, the midpoint of this polygon and it just snapped right there. Perfect. So now I need to rotate it there as well. So basically I need to rotate it down and we're going to see a problem in just a second here. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and control click on that axis. I'm going to go to this point here on the uh, outer edge. Click and drag to uh, to this point where we can see that this is actually snapping to the uh, polygon. But when I release we can see that we actually need to do this on two axes. So this is just a two-step process. So I snap it into its position, I rough it in, and then I'm going to go here. And if we actually go to the Move tool, we can see that this, we basically need to rotate it uh, this way. So let's, uh, on the this axis, Control click, go over this point, click and drag and snap it that way. And so now examining the orientation. Perfect. Now we need to go down on the uh, blue axis. So again, control right click, mouse over that, that same point, and then click and drag there. And now it is perfectly lined up on the surface of that polygon. So if you have any questions, <clears throat> please shoot me a message. Uh, I hope everyone has fun and I expect that this will uh, help a lot of people out. And uh, thanks everyone, bye. If you're interested in personalized training or project assistance, visit cineversityoneonone.com and visit cineversity.com for more great tutorials and resources.